you know, all the positive, all the negative, just Ghostbusters talk all over the internet. It just became too much to me. I had a Britney Spears moment, and I just chopped off all my hair. This is the newest episode of Ghostbusters News. Let's do this. Get ready, folks. Ghostbusters is apparently coming to Blu-ray in the U.S. and Canada and probably some other locations, too, on October 11th. At least that's according to Target.com. October 11th, you say? Sony, if you, you want my money, you got my money. Just here, just, just take it, take it all. Now, one thing to note is that Sony has not confirmed this as of yet. So maybe the October 11th date is just a placeholder. Maybe it's an error. We don't know just yet. What we do know, though, is if you do buy through Target, you'll get an extra bonus disc entitled Recreating the World of the Ghostbusters. Its contents, we have no idea, but you may want to shop for Target if you're looking for the brand new Ghostbusters film on Blu-ray. Fireforge Studios, the guys behind that fantastic brand new Ghostbusters game. Watch your review, it wasn't fantastic. Well, they filed for bankruptcy, and I know a lot of people, they want to, you know, take jabs and make fun of it and stuff like that. Oh, the new Ghostbusters causes this company to go out of business. That wasn't the case. Fire Force Studios have been around since 2011, and really this was the first game they've ever actually had published. Uh, they've had some failed attempts in the past, and while Ghostbusters didn't help them at all, it wasn't the reason for their demise. And despite myself not being a huge fan of the brand new Ghostbusters video game, let me just say, everybody at Fire Force Studios, I hope you all land on your feet. Best wishes to, to all of you guys. I mean, anytime anybody loses a job or a company goes under or anything like that or files for bankruptcy, um, I, I just I just wish the best for everybody at Fireforge. Speaking of video games, Sandbox Evolution, which is a handheld video game for your, your smart device there, it's all about building your own world in, in a 2D landscape. They've added a new Ghostbusters add-on. Dedicated to the 2016 film, this add-on features two playable characters and tons of items you can use within your game, like the containment unit, the Ecto-1, and oh so much more. Heck, there's even a boss battle you can actually put inside your very own levels, and once again, these are levels that you create, including Rowan, the big, evil, nasty ghost from the new film. Now, the content to actually use in your own levels is behind a paywall, but if you just want to try it out and play it, uh, there's actually an online feature where people can upload their own levels that they made, and you can definitely try it all out for free. The team at Iron Studios have revealed a brand new Ghostbusters statue line, and they're incredible. We have all the pictures for you right now live on GhostbustersNews.com. The link is right down below in the description. The statue sets include, well, statues of Ray Stance, Peter Venkman, Egon Spangler, Winston Zedmore, Gozer, Slimer, and both Terror Dogs. And one of the coolest things about them is aside from the Terror Dogs, all the other characters can actually get attached together to create one heck of a diorama piece. For additional picks and pricing, be sure to check out our link right down below in the description and head on over to GhostbustersNews.com. Alright, Ghostbusters Blu-ray, new Iron Studio statues, can my wallet bleed anymore? Yes, yes it can. Bandai has announced an upcoming Stay Puft Marshmallow Man action figure that just blows my mind. Blows a marshmallow. The figure stands 7 inches tall, has 3 swappable heads, as well as also swappable hands. And what's best of all, he's listed at a mere $70 US. I need him, I want him, he's gonna be mine. g Easy has released a music video for the new song, Saw It Coming, off the Ghostbusters soundtrack. Now I gotta admit, I'm not too just inside the music scene nowadays, I'm just lost. I know Britney Spears is coming back, I mean, I'm kind of excited about that. We need another Spice Girl reunion, I mean, that has to happen. But this g Easy guy's been popping up everywhere. The Ghostbusters soundtrack, the Suicide Squad soundtrack, Speaking of Britney Spears, I think he's just done a song with her as well. And the music video is a must check out for fans of the 2016 film. It even features this really cool badass girl at the end just suiting up and, and busted Jeezy who's turned into the subway ghost from the new film for no apparent reason whatsoever. And she caps and traps him there. And it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but um, you know, they got some good facts of Proton back busting you. The video is online now, watch it. And that about does it for this episode of Ghostbusters News. As always, click the subscribe button right down below there. As well, we've got a couple of recent videos that we'd recommend you guys checking out there. We reviewed the brand new Monster High doll. Well, it's a Ghostbuster themed Monster High doll. It was a San Diego Comic Con 2016 exclusive. You can check that review out right there. As well, we also took a look at Mattel's Acto 1 toy. It's got lights. That should be enough for you. So be sure to check out those two videos right now. And as always, for your daily dose of Ghostbusters news, be sure to check out GhostbustersNews.com. And we'll see you guys right back here next time.